In this presentation, we're going to look at how to use filters with Microsoft Dynamics NIV. First, we look at how to use filters on one field, then combine filters on several fields. We'll see that all the fields are available for filtering on one table. We filters with report and we limit totals filters. So let's start to put an item number and we get the filtered list just for that item. If I just put the start, we get the filtered list again. We change the description. So it's now we're filtering on the description instead of the number. We do it on part of the description. Here we don't get what we need because loudspeaker we need to put an asterisk before or you can put also the arrobas okay now we have filter just on one field let's try to combine filters and we start with the description has speaker in it and we put another field base unit pieces so the list is filter is refined. Let's put it unit price greater than 50, unit price between 20 and 50 dollars. Okay, let's remove all the filters and if all the fields you see first are the fields that are displayed in the list, but if you go to all, you can see all the fields in the table are available for filtering. So let's filter for example on production bill of material item we've manufactured. So different than blank and we get that list. Let's do that on a report. Exactly as we did before on the list you can put any kind of filter with the same convention. So you've got all the additional fields available to filter in the reports in the same way. So the item we manufactured and the report is filtered. Same thing if we were to combine filters it would work in the same way we put the convention of asterisk arrobas ls arroba asterisk so anything that has ls in it with anything that is between 20 and 50 dollars and we've got the selection now let's look at the limit total filter on the item list we're going to display the inventory that we have added that on that page. So here we've got for the top panel all the inventory. Okay, what if we want to filter that just for one location? We need to display the limit total and then select the location filter we select one location so let's put blue and we see that the total has changed only to take into account the blue location You could keep this uh, filtering for later on with a save you as, and there is another video to uh, explain how this works. To finish, let's go to the uh, chart of accounts and we look at um, another limit total filter that is used very widely. So, first, we want three columns. The net change, the balance at date, and the balance. So let's go to the liability account.
okay, a bit down. Okay, this one. So far we see that the three columns are exactly the same. And that take into account all the entry all the entries on that particular on that uh, on these accounts. If we do limit total date filter let's put just one month February 2014 we see that the three numbers the three totals are different so the net change is filtering just for the month of February the balance at date is filtered with the date everything up to the 28th of February and the balance doesn't have any posting date filter.